What's up guys, it's Elle and welcome to my planet and today as usual I have a special video for you guys but before anything else I just have to say I'm so sorry for delaying so many videos that I had from Korea as you know this I'm back in Manila new background because I did a lot of things this winter. I've got a lot of presents. This is from my friend Eunice. Thank you to Eunice and there are a couple of pictures back there. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. The reason why a lot of my videos are not up yet is because I do not have anyone to translate them into Korean yet. My Korean friend who's supposed to translate them is really busy right now. So he promised me that he'll be sending the new subs tomorrow. So I hope I get to upload my next Soul video within this week hopefully if I'm not that busy but I doubt cuz like fourth year last year fourth year college but anyway anyway moving on this video is actually my top 5 k-pop songs from 2017 it's basically a ranking based on how many times I played the song through my iPhone or through my MacBook and basically the total of that you can see through iTunes and you can see among which of the songs that you've been listening to throughout the whole year is the one that's most listened to by you I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, here we go. The runner up is Polygon Matte by Red Velvet or Red Flavor. This song is really, really memorable to me because it's the song that I download at the lounge at the airport prior to my flight to Shanghai because like every time I travel somewhere, every time I go somewhere special with my family or meet myself this time, like what I did in Korea, I make sure to have a playlist of my own. And my summer playlist's hit was Red Velvet's Red Flavor. It actually served as my summer song. I listened to it almost every single day. Every time I went to the subway in Shanghai, it was basically my subway jam. I used it while walking around Nanjing Road and everything else that I did last summer. So it was a really memorable song for me. I don't know if you guys have the same thing as well. Like you associate specific songs with places you go to or stuff that you did. But basically my summer was really Red Velvet's Red Flavor, which is why I guess this is the top 6 or the first runner up. After that, it's a song that I just downloaded earlier this year, surprisingly. If not earlier this year, late last no, late last year I guess, because I think I've been I was listening to this in Korea. It's Mohan Joga by NCT127. Oh baby, I do not know why I only found out about this song recently. Maybe it's because I just got to got into NCT recently, but I was never really a big fan until late last year. And basically, as soon as I heard this and I saw the music video, it was my aesthetic. Everything was so amazing. And I don't know, I loved it. And I love NCT because of this song. Out of all the NCT songs I've heard, this is my favorite. And it actually has 54 plays. I'm actually surprised because previous years I've listened to songs for about 100 times, but now my highest is 75, which I'll tell you guys later. So hold on to your seat. The next song is Coco Bop by EXO, which has 55 plays, just one play higher than Mohan Joga. Break it down now. <laughs> and I think Mohan Joga will be higher in a bit because. I don't know, I really like that song. It's been my jam for the start of 2018. Coco Bao, on the other hand, I think I loved it because I'm a big fan of EXO and I love their fashion, I love their music, I love their style. And they're just really, really cool. And that song is, I don't know, it's really different from other K-pop songs that you listen to on the radio. You know those typical K-pop songs that sound electronic-y, um, you know, Produce 101. No, I don't want to say that because I love Produce 101. But, you know, they, they produce really, really typical K-pop songs. And Coco Bop is just different because it's actually one of the many few K-pop songs that actually tapped into the reggae genre. So good job EXO. Next, third place. Now my third place is surprisingly not a title song, but then it did come out with a music video that I loved. Everything was aesthetically pleasing. I loved it so much that I actually had it as a wallpaper for my phone when I went to Korea. So the song is the intro of BTS's Love Yourself called Serendipity. It has 57 plays, not so far from Coco Bop. Just let me love you. I already said everything I liked about the music video, but the song itself, it, even though it was just Jimin, it's a perfect way to start an album. It, it feels so calming whenever I listen to it, and then whenever I feel like down, or whenever I feel like I'm in that moody moment in life, I actually just play the song and then I just 
go with the flow and actually brings me to it doesn't bring me to tears but then yeah it drags me through so much emotions and I love the vocals on the song it's not often that you can find k-pop groups okay that sound really really good but Jimin sounded really well in this one next we move on to my second place now surprisingly second place has a tie between BTS's best of me that it's not another title song it's not DNA but I'm so sorry guys I don't like DNA that much it's a great song but best of me really stuck out the most for me it really served as my going to school jam and I was literally walking to my university with these in my ear pods there we go sorry Apple <laughs> but yeah best of me really had that upbeat vibe perfect for the morning and then it just pumps me up every time Kashina, on the other hand, is also on second place with 70 plays as well. It reminds me so much of my friend because my friend Eunice actually danced to this. So you can check it out on her YouTube channel. And it's actually, I don't know, it just feels so sexy, it feels so sultry, it feels fun and playful at the same time. And it's surprisingly way up high here, like. It has 70 plays. I don't know why I kept listening to it. No, I do know why. It's just such an amazing song. I loved Sunmi, especially when she moved out of JYP. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but then, um, she was great in JYP. She's great in Wonder Girls. But then now that she moved to her new label, label and now that YG's been producing her songs. Well, not YG, but Teddy. Or the Black Label from YG, which is technically also Teddy. Not so sure. But yeah, the song sounds so good and you guys know that I'm a YG stan, even if she's not in YG. I still have that YG vibe that it feels like 21 could sing it out or Blackpink or um, Big Bang, I don't know. But yeah, I love Kashina so much. Speaking of YG, congratulations to top 1 with 75 plays. Maju Makcharom or As If It's Your Last by Blackpink. Baby, my first ever K-pop music review time that had a ranking system and a solid way to actually judge each song. I think it's the highest viewed music review time I've ever had on my channel. Why am I lower than I was a while ago? Let me tell you, last year I wasn't honestly listening to that much K-pop until this song came out because I honestly had a hiatus from listening to K-pop because I don't know, I felt like everything is just so new, it's not the old K-pop that I've been listening to Everyone's just right off the bat fresh, everyone's different. There's so much globalization happening, like it's very Americanized, it's very westernized. And I just can't find that single thing that still looks and feels and sounds like K-pop until this came out. I know that you guys have your opinions also, but this is mine. And honestly, this is the song that brought me back. As soon as I listened to the song, it was a night and I was sleeping in Abu Dhabi. And uh, I watched a music video. And I listened to it and then as soon as I heard it, I was jamming the whole night and then I had to sleep early morning just because of this song. And it brought me back to my K-pop roots, if there's such a thing. This song is the best for me throughout 2018 and I don't know, it just helps me live every day like it's my last and motivates me to do the best and whatever. I don't want to sound very motivational here because it's just a song but music has the power to uh, change your emotions change your ambitions change the way you are and I think that's the beauty of k-pop not just k-pop but music in general it's the fact that through these instruments and through these vocals of the people that you hear you are transported into a different realm this reality that we're living in you pop in your headphones and you're suddenly in a different place you're suddenly with your favorite stars you're suddenly listening to someone else that you've never heard before you're suddenly listening to indie you're suddenly listening listening to I don't know maybe Chinese pop but I don't know it brings you to so much places and it encourages you and it inspires you to do so much stuff in life my relationship with music is just so amazing and I believe that you guys feel the exact same way and I'm sure that many of you guys are even more passionate about music or k-pop more than me so ah, my gosh I'm tired but basically that's it so I hope you guys like this video I'm really 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 curious to know what you guys think, what are your top fives if you guys could check out your iTunes or Spotify or whatever you use 
or Apple Music to listen to music and it'll be really interesting for me to see personally. Go shoot a comment, I'll try my best to respond this time because now I want it to be interactive and I really want to know you guys even more now that it's 2018 and I'm graduating soon. I'm a senior, oh my gosh. Anyway, I know I spoke a lot and I spoke really fast but it's almost 12 a.m. here. I don't want to sleep really late at night because I'm editing this right afterwards. Anyway, remember that Else Planet is your planet as well. So spread the love and God bless. I'll see you guys hopefully in my next soul video. Bye-bye.